Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi channel. This is yet another video tips and trick. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Blender um, as a flip book. Let's say you have like um, like an animations, like a keyframe animation or rendered animations that you have. You all you need to do is just put all the image into one folder and let the Blender load it for you. So I'm gonna switch to Blender. This is the again the Blender default view. But you can quickly change to any layout as you want. Um, you, if you can, if you want to work from this layout, it's fine. You can just switch to the UV or image editor panel, and you have this one panel. Or you can also switch to the 3D view full. Now you have nothing but just like a 3D cube. But you can always get the panel back um, and then switch this into UV or image editor. And now we have the image viewer or image editor, but but we're gonna use this to load our um, animation, flipbook animation. So I'm gonna open one, I'm gonna hit open, go to my desktop, and let's find one. Um, let's try this PPAP sign two. This is a uh, the animations that I did um, a few days ago. The way to open animation in Blender is to select all. Um, there is, uh, I don't know if there is a, like a menu to select all, but the key here is to use A. Tap A and you select all. That's how you do it in Blender. Tap A and then you select all and there you go. I have uh, the image open. Um, this is actually an animation and you can see you can scrub it. But nothing happens because you need to switch to this uh, menu um, I'll hide it again and open it again and here you can see you have 51 frames and we need to turn on auto refresh and maybe you want to cyclic cyclic means just uh, if it goes over 51 it's gonna continue and cycling the image so there you go that's a uh, pretty much it if you want to do to use blender as a animation flipbook um, you can use it for all kind of uh, uh, usage. For example, if you take like a burst using your camera or maybe using your iPhone, you take burst photos and you load it into your computer, put it in one folder and select the image. And you can zoom in and you can kind of flipping back and forth using the left and right arrow. And if you want, like uh, in my previous video, I told you that you can also make a mark uh, let's say on this frame you make like a like a marking like this and you go to the next frame and then you can make another mark this is I'm using uh, the grease pencil it's not it's not permanent uh, you can make mark on any frame and this is a grease pencil here you can if you don't like it you can just delete it and make another grease pencil uh, kind of any kind of doodle you want this is just quick way quick way to make notes if you want, you can always save this, give it to your friend, and they should um, see the same screen. Oh yeah, there is one way that you might uh, want to do. If you want to save this um, Blender file for your friend, you might want to pack the external data. So automatically pack into Blend, which means, this means that all the image that currently open in Blender will get saved with the Blend file. So the Blend files will be slightly bigger, but it's gonna have all the image okay so it's gonna be packed let me do this one more time so um, in the image browser panel you just go image um, open image and you go to folder with your like image sequence um, let's say I open this one and you tap A to select all and then open image now I have this, uh, this guy uh, the PPAP guy dancing and this is like you can see this is like a, it has transparency and I can just uh, flip over it we still have the grease pencil from previous I'll, I can delete that and if you want you can of course use the grease pencil to make like a doodle all kind of doodle um, let's see make a white color doodle uh, with white color stroke and let's see we You want to make like a frame by frame animations you can do that using grease pencil 
Yeah. So that's super handy. Um, there we go. So that's a very short video showing how you can use Blender as an image flip books for your animations or all kind of uh, silly um, sequence that you have. Um, yeah, hope you, hopefully you find this useful. If you want, if you have questions, just leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.